Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Gemini. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what the week holds for, okay? The Eight of Pentacles, okay. So working very, very hard, especially if you are new entrepreneurs. So it's like wash, rinse, repeat. You got to do this over and over again so it works. So you get it to a self-sustaining energy to where you can be hands off. You can still be a part of your business or whatever it is you do, but it will work kind of autonomously. Or maybe you can even hire employees. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, it also says that some of you are going back to school. You're learning something. You're doing something over and over again. You go to school. You sit in the classroom. The bell rings, and then you leave. I don't know. Um, something like that. You know, you're doing something over and over again where you're gaining either work ethic or knowledge. Um, some of you are in an imprint, uh, apprenticeship. What is that? Uh, internship. You're like an uh, imprint. Uh, I can't even say the damn word. It's so damn late. You're an intern. Apprentice. There we go. Apprentice. You're in some apprenticeship. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, too, I mean, if you want to kind of gear it to love, it's like you're not really focused on love right now. Like, that doesn't have all of your focus or maybe not any of your focus um, because you're too busy working. This could, this is the workaholic card. You just work, 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 work. You're really trying to make something pop. You may try to make it, um, her do what it do. Wow. Um, some of you could be in, in like a, a self promotion business where you have to promote what you do or what you're selling or your service. So you have to put yourself out there. You have to do it over and over again. Maybe you're posting to social media over and over again or whatever it is you do. Um, the Eight of Pentacles. Um, a lot going on here. Let's see. It's something you feel like you gave um, maybe a situation, a relationship, too many chances. You, you did something over and over again. You let somebody come back over and over again. They did something or the same thing over and over again or vice versa. This is how they feel about you. Let's see. Somebody feels like um, they love, you love the other person more than they love you or vice versa. They love you more than you love them. Somebody's out to get something. What is the advice this week? The Six of Swords. Um, get some rest, vacation. Uh, also get some mental rest, mental clarity too. Um, move away from things that um, sabotage relationships uh just situations all together leave that self sabotaging energy behind if you know that you have been the culprit in past situations if you know that your mouth your actions have gotten you in a place where you have to be you know at a place of apologizing or you are the problem don't take that with you leave that behind learn how to leave it behind go and talk to somebody uh, a therapist psychotherapist analyst counselor anybody uh, the Six of Swords, it says move on from previous heartbreak, heartache. It just makes sense to do so. Rationalize this moving on. Stop staying here. Stop being defensive. Stop playing games. Stop lying. Um, somebody wants to talk to you. You want to talk to them? Talk. Either it's going to be talks of getting back together, uh, moving on and getting back together, or moving on separately. Some of you could be coming back, going back to work from vacation also. So you're coming off of vacation. What is the outcome here for Gemini? The Queen of Wands. This is my Gemini card too. Gem my uh, female Gemini card. Um, so you're definitely attracting what it is you want in your life. It's very dynamic, um, very seductive, um, sexy, alluring. Um, some of you are entrepreneurs. I, I'm here, makeup artists. Um, something where you do something where people are looking at you or they're evaluating what it is you do. Um, you're getting uh, praise, accolades, 
uh, follows, likes because of something that you're presenting or you pre how you present yourself. Um, people are just drawn to whatever it is you put out there. Um, it, your body also. I don't know if it's clothing. Um, you're using you. Self-promotion. You. You are the product, but you're also... There is an actual product, but you are maybe the branding. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. You're attracting all kinds of stuff to you, which is good. Um, if you're separated from somebody, uh, they're thinking about you. They have a lot of emotions for you, but they feel like you both are just too different. You bring out the worst in each other. This is what I'm hearing, how somebody feels. Um you bring out the worst in each other. You don't know how to get along. You don't know how to talk to one another. Somebody feels like the other person is too wild while the other person is very reserved, calm. Um, there's a lot of secrets to secrecies. What somebody does when they're not around or when the other person isn't around that drives another person crazy. Yeah, you take each other out of your comfort zone. So this is what I have for you, Gemini, for this week. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there. Um, you could always text a question or two to the number below. Um, you can find me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can ask a question or you could just come for the collective reading. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.